Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to check out 10 games running on the AMD Ryzen 7735HS. We'll be using the GMK Tech Notebox K2, populated with two sticks of 16GB DDR5 memory by Crucial. The memory is rated at and running at 4800 MHz in the so-called quad-core configuration. TDP is set at 45 watts, and this may add around 5 to 10 degrees Celsius to our CPU temps, and maybe a few more FPS compared to the default 35 watts. If you want more information on this, we've made a video for you. Both Windows 11 Pro and all drivers are updated to the latest versions, and in these tests, all of the settings will be set to off. So please sit back and relax, and welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. First up is Azeto Corsa Compradopadopadopade, and the graphics settings are set to 1080p mid. While it runs around 60, there are some dips. If we lower our resolution to 720p with FSR upscaling, we get a much smoother experience. Car on the right. Three wide. All clear. Clear on the right. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Next up is Rocket League. Take football and add RC cars. We'll be running this game at 1080p with both render quality and detail at high. At these settings, we're sat at a good 100 FPS. I'm certain that 4K at medium settings will also be possible. Next up, Overwatch 2. Again, we'll be running at 1080p, and the quality set to high. I'm extremely poor at this game, so apologies in advance. Next up is Fortnite. With DirectX 12 on the high settings, we get around 30 FPS. So to speed things up, we'll be using the performance renderer with these settings. Let's move on now to Honkai Star Rail. As this game is capped to 60 FPS, we'll start first on 1080p high settings and see how it performs. As it is an RPG, it's definitely playable with frames running from 30 to 60 FPS, but for a solid 60, we'll need to click down the graphics settings to medium. Yeah. 
Clemency? Never heard of it. I told you I could fight. Watch this! Step aside. I have times now. Next up is Counter-Strike 2. Resolution set at 1080p, I'll be using high settings. With these settings, we get around 60 FPS with slight dips, and we do have the option to lower them to speed things up if we need to. Next up is Rise of the Tomb Raider. We haven't played this yet, but it's supposed to be pretty decent. I'll be trying this with 1080p medium settings. Oh, we've turned off motion blur just because. We don't find anything up here your dad would be proud i know but i have a good feeling about this even though we're getting 40 to 50 fps this game is perfectly playable if need be we can speed things up by lowering settings oh, shit. are you okay Moving on to King of Fighters 15, an arcade game with roots on the Neo Geo Arcade. We'll be using 1080p, and unfortunately none of these options will fix Blue Mary's lifeless eyes. He survived countless wars with a tank-busting punch. A true one-man army, Ralph Jones. Round one! Ready? Go! They're running at full speed, 60 FPS. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters, Spirits Unleashed. We have it set to 1080p. We'll start off by running this on the medium preset. It is playable, but it's definitely choppy. Lowering the resolution to 720p sells a lot of the slowdown. Nothing in there. I found them! Good if I'm used to this now. But I'm so scared. It's over here! Crap's going out! And last up, we love Katamari Reroll. We're at 1080p, and all settings are set to high. Let's roll some balls.
The 7735HS handles this game easily. They could probably go to 4K without issue. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. This has been Ibu Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!